weeks removed from the conclusion of Guild Wars 2's fourth expansion, Secrets of the Obscure. Guild Wars 2's last raid, The Key of Adashim, released back in 2019 after which, ArenaNet shifted to strike missions as the de facto endgame for 10-player squads. The gold standard here is Ice Brood Saga's Drizzlewood Coast map, itself released in halves, and still one of the best and most profitable meta events in the game. As for the other features announced for Janther Wilds, an old weapon type is getting a brand new use. A beta scheduled for June 27th will let players try out the new weapon. While you technically can ride a Warclaw outside of the world versus world game mode, there just isn't any point. The suggestion has always been that raids just weren't popular enough to justify their continued development, and I'm interested to see what has changed on that front. Whether this marks a change in attitude at the studio, or if the push into strike missions has given players the confidence to tackle the more daunting challenge of a full raid. The last couple of wings have some of my favorite combat encounters in the game. I'm a serial QTP kiter, and I'm looking forward to seeing what ArenaNet is cooking up for the next one. Now he leads PC Gamer's UK team, but still sometimes finds the time to write about his ongoing obsessions with Destiny 2, GTA Online, and Apex Legends.